Welcome to the What the Guru podcast for September 1st, 2024, this Sunday. We're going to start off with the tropics first, and then we're going to work our way to the hazards in the lower 48, as well as any rainfall that's coming in. Right now, we have just brief hazards here, and that's available for the Lesser Antilles. We have a a little tropical wave disturbance is moving through here. It's closer to Barbados here. This is going to bring some rain and gusty winds uh, below tropical storm strength for that area there. 7%, 40% chance in seven days that this will become our next tropical depression. Possibly tropical storm Francine. We'll have to wait and see once it gets closer to Jamaica and the Cayman Islands about Thursday or Friday this week and later on this week. We'll have to wait and see how that develops. A little area over Texas still bringing rain to Victoria, Texas, up to Houston, Texas, and Port Lavaca, and, and the Galveston Bay there. 10% chance of development. That's just going to basically be hung, hanging around and meandering around. It's going to move inland on Tuesday, so no chance of development there for Francine. Elsewhere, quiet in the basin as well. Out west, we have flash flood warnings in California, the low and high deserts, also into the San Joaquin Valleys, and also in the Arizona rim country as well. Um, and up to the, uh, we have red flag warnings in northern Nevada, northern Utah, all most of Idaho, Montana, and over in the high plains of Wyoming, North Dakota, and Nebraska. Um, and then we still have those excessive heat advisories for eastern Washington that we talked about last time. Eastern Washington, Oregon, and, and the stovepipe of Idaho. Be very careful if you're doing any strenuous outdoor activities as the air quality is not good out there as well in the valleys out there. So be very careful for that as well. Texas, you have flood warnings, flood watches in Texas. This is coming up 20 uh, past Aberdeen, Midland, and Odessa out towards... Um, over towards I-10 there, leaving towards San Antonio, up in the Kerrville and the high plains there of Texas there, uh, Red Hills and the Canyon Country there. So flood watch is in effect for some of those counties out there um, to the east um, uh, of El Paso and that region out there to the east of Fort Stockton and Marfa there. So be very careful out there as well. Um, uh, looking at the SBC outlook in terms of sours here, just general garden variety thunderstorms here that we have here that could bring some hail and gusty winds here for North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, up into Tidewater, Virginia, and the Delmarva in New Jersey. So that's something to look at. That's dated for today here. Just a marginal risk of one out of five or two out of five risk there. A marginal risk there. Uh, storms there. Um, as well. So there's been a lower risk here for some gusty winds and those storms. So that continues. No tornado threat, uh, no um, hail outlook, less than 5% in both of those in all areas here. So there may be some gusty winds, straight line winds, stuff like that. Um, that could topple a few things um, in those areas all down the east coast and the mid-Atlantic. So just be mindful of that as you're making your way through those areas of I-95, maybe 81, or even I-77 or I-40 there in North Carolina, back toward the North Georgia Mountains. Just be careful running, running some storms out there as well um, during that time frame as well. But otherwise, all clear, just general garden variety days. Like I said, with meteorological fall today, uh, general fall is September 23rd, the equinox, as, as you know, fall equinox. So we're transitioning here, and there should be some cooler weather coming for the majority of eastern two-thirds of the country here coming in about another week or so out from that. Um, just check briefly on the Eastern Pacific here, and we still have uh, nothing going on there as well. No, nothing going on in the Eastern Pacific. Central Pacific, there's a low area disturbance that's moving uh, well past the midway of Toll. 175th meridian here um just 10 percent chance nothing is going to affect hawaii or anything is well past that so that's pretty good news for everybody heading out to hawaii and the big island um and nothing is going on once again in tulum or mexico or cancun or uh or Hawaka or cabo san lucas any of that all those destinations are great right now there is no weather to be concerned of this labor day weekend um tropical weather anyway and then there's uh, we just have those two disturbances out there so it's been your update really quick for the weekend of September 1st, 2024. Enjoy your weekend. Be weather-wise, be safe, and I'll talk to you in the next episode. Thank you for listening.